Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and another WLED video. So, in the comments of my last video, one of my viewers said, why didn't you try the 2D panel facility? And I thought, yeah, okay, fair enough. I didn't actually cotton on that I'd, had, that I'd got 2D panels. So, I've wired them up together. I've put them all in one big chain and we've set them up. So, this is how I got them working. So into 2D configuration. So we've selected 2D matrix. Now we've got panel set up. So I'm using three 8x8 panels in horizontal configuration. So width is 24 and height is 8. So we've got three horizontal panels one vertical panel and once you select those you end up with these so these have been set up accordingly now that you have to set them up it's a little bit of a pain to set them up but once you've got it right you end up with some really good results so the last thing to set up is the segment so start on the x-axis stop 24 so 3 8 24 and y-axis 8 total 192 LEDs and of course in LED preferences we need to set the length of the physical string because all these LEDs are in a string even though they're in an 8x8 grid they're still in a string so 192 LEDs so once we've done that we ended up with this. Now this is the scrolling text. And as you can see, it's scrolling the date and time, which I think is pretty neat. Now you can change all the colors of these with the palettes. Now I haven't actually worked out how you actually add your own scrolling text yet. But I'm sure that'll come. But when you actually select the uh, the 2D effect, uh, the 2D panel, should I say, you end up with options in the sequences that are just for panels. And one of them was the scrolling text. So let's have a look at some of the other effects we've got. As you can see, these are pretty good now they do scroll across so if we were to if we were to make the panel vertical we'd have to change all the settings but I think for this test this horizontal panel works just nicely and some really really strange effects on here well, let's put it on to put it on to random colour. Where's random gone? Random cycle. There we go. That's better. So we've got some really, really, really good effects. Now, if this was on a bigger panel, this would look absolutely amazing I mean it looks absolutely amazing just on this just on this small panel let's go back to the the scrolling text again so a couple of options with the scrolling text got the effect speed slows it down got the Y offset that moves it up and down Got the trail, so we can add trails on it. Don't show it very well on camera. And the font size, which obviously makes the font bigger and smaller. So I'm really, really, really impressed with this. Well, like I say, I would think on a bigger panel. This would look absolutely amazing. 
and I presume that this one, having a music symbol next to it, would actually be sound reactive as well. So you could have some sort of visual equaliser, maybe, or visual visualisation of the sound. Or maybe the effect changes to sound. Now, I haven't actually got a microphone or a input for this yet. So I'm going to have to work on that and get myself an input, I think. And then we can try the sound visualisation. But anyway, all in all, very happy with that. It's definitely a really, really, really nice piece of software. Anyway, thanks to that viewer who mentioned about the 2D panels. And I hope you enjoyed this short video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.